My name is Francisco Lugo Pagan. Today is uh, June 2nd, 2023. And um, I'm doing uh, sour dough bread. I already did uh, two loaves with uh, whole wheat. So I'm going to be doing a, uh, a sour dough today with uh, whole wheat as well as uh, regular white flour and see the difference between the two of them and um, this is a uh, sourdough that I have kept for about a week right now and um, so I'm going to be adding some more water to it and sugar to activate the yeast that is dormant uh, on this container because I had them in the uh, refrigerator for approximately one week and uh, once I do that, I'm going to give the, uh, the yeast time to recover. So let me see a little bit more. There you go. So I'm going to steer this up to get the, uh, the whole wheat sourdough to begin to wake up. I'm gonna give it a few minutes to activate. And once I see that the, uh, the yeast begins to respond, then I will go ahead and mix this with um, white, bleed, uh, white flour to make my uh, whole wheat and white flour bread. So I'm gonna be adding here three tablespoons of sugar to feed, to feed the yeast in this container. I just want to make sure that I get a nice soapy consistency because I want the uh, I want the yeast that are that is there are that is growing inside the uh, this this concussion to grow and has plenty of room to grow. I just want to make sure that I get a good homogeneous. Um, mixture and that the sugar has enough time to be uh, liquefied and now I'm going to be getting uh, this is one two three heaping tablespoons of whole wheat flour I want to make sure that um, that I get a really nice me uh, a mix and I want it to be nice and liquid so by the time I have the bowl out that uh, that whatever I add to the uh, to the dry ingredients, that it mixes with that very quickly, and uh, I just want to make sure that I uh, that I have a good a good mixture right here. Everything on the sourdough is going to be nothing but whole wheat. You know, the uh, it's not going to be process before that at all and then uh, on this particular load I'm going to be doing um, I'm going to finish it with white flour so it's going to be like 75% uh, uh, white flour and a quarter of whole wheat with the uh, with the sourdough the sourdough mixture 
I just want to see how that I see how that going to be combined Yeah, this mixture have been in the uh, yeah, this has been in the uh, in the refrigerator for approximately a week. Yeah, want to make sure that this is. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that I have a very good. Shake it, shake it very, very good. I don't want anything dried inside that container. Nice and liquidy, like soup. Just like soup. You hear that? Yeah, that's a sign that uh, yeast is uh, is fermenting and is feeding. That's what I want. I want to make sure that all the whole wheat and also that the yeast that I just that is in there plus the sugar, all of them are combining properly. Yeah. So I'm gonna set this up. Um, I'm going to let it rest for approximately an hour. And in about an hour, I will go ahead and I will start the rest, uh, a second video with the um, whole wheat and white flour dough and cook it on my slow cooker like I did the previous two uh, loaves and see what happens. So um, thank you so very much if you're watching it. Also... Because I'm not a baker, if you have any idea what else I can do to make sure that my uh, dough comes out uh, better, because I don't, I just want to make it as um, as normal as possible. I don't want to add any chemicals or anything like that. Just whatever I possibly can, and keep it natural. So I'm going to put it to rest right now. <laughs>